thanks for joining me to color. Today we will be working on this adorable magnolia image called Tilda with Fantasy Flower. Isn't she cute? I'll put a link down in the description box of the card kit and all the supplies that I used. I really appreciate you shopping with me. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Okay, so let's give our girl a background. For that, we're going to use BG Quadruple Zero and our Colorless Blender. We're going to start with BG Quadruple Zero. And I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to start, oh, right here by her hair. And I'm just going to flick away from her dress. Out here into the background. And up here, I try to go a little bit above her head. And then we're going to come back down the other side. And then here, we want to get in between her flowers. And then we'll go around this bunch of flowers on this side. And back down to her dress. And then I'm going to take the color of the Splendor and just wipe over the top of that. So I'm going to put my pin down on top of my girl and swipe out past that blue. And this will smooth out those lines and soften that edge. Let's do her skin next. For that, we're going to use E53, 51, 50. And for her cheeks, I'm going to use R20 and 30. So let's start with our E53. And I'm going to start down here on her legs. And for that, I'm going to go right underneath of her dress and do this inside part of her leg. And I'm going to go underneath of her hand just a little bit. And same for this side. Let's go underneath of her dress and then flick away from the inside of her leg. And then for her arm, I'm going to do underneath of her sleeve. And then we'll flick away from her edge of her arm. And she's got a little bit of her hand showing in between those little stems there, so get those. And then this arm, she's got a little bit of her arm showing. And then I'm going to go up from the bottom. Next we're going to add E51. So I'm going to touch down on top of my E53. And lastly, we'll add our E50 over the entire arm and leg and fill it the rest of the way in. And let's go up here and work on her neck and her face. So again, grab E53 first. And I'm going to do this side of her chest or underneath of her neck. And then for her face, let's go around. There's some little dots right here. So I'm going to use those and I'm going to go around her bangs and back down over her sleeve. Then we'll add E51. I'm going to go ahead and fill in right here. And then I want to bring this section down to connect over here. And then I want to flick this into my white. And 
Yeah, I think I'll bring this side in just a little bit more. And then I'm going to add E50. And even though I filled this in, I like to go over the top of that. And then we'll add some cheek color and then we'll add a second coat of skin tone. So I'm going to do R20 first. Then I'm going to soften that with R30. And then we're going to give it our second skin tone, so do E53. E51. And then I'm going to go over her entire face with my E50. Let's do our hair next. For that, we're going to use E44, 23, and 31. So let's start with our E44. And I'm going to start down here. There's a couple little spots right down here. And then we'll work our way up here. And then let's do a little bit coming out from behind this section. And then we got to do her part. And we'll hop over here and do this side. So over here, we've got a little bit right here. And then we're going to want to do this section coming away from her arm. Let's see, let's bring these over just a little bit more. Then we're going to add E23.
And we've got this little dab down here on this bottom one. And then let's get these two little bottom ones. And then we'll work on our little curly cue here. Then we're going to fill it in with our E31. Then I like to go back with my darkest color, which was E44, and just put a little bit, bit of that back in. And then let's add a little bit up here on our curly cues. And I better add a little bit over on this side, over here. And I think I'm going to do just a little bit down in here. Maybe a little bit up here. Let's do the leaves on the flowers next. For that we're going to use G46 and YG17. Let's start with our G46, and I'm going to do that just a little bit down here on these stems. And then should we want to do a little dab where they're coming away from her hand. And then for the leaves, let's do this leaf on the line. And then where all these little dots are. And then for this side, let's do the underneath and that line. And then for this one over here, I'm going to do underneath the little line. And then right next to the flower. And then we're going to fill it in with our YG17. And 
and a little dab down here on the end of these stems. Let's do her dress next. For that, we're going to use RV69, R56, RV34, and R81. So we're going to start with RV69. Let's start over here onto her sleeve. Then I'm going to add R56. I'm going to add RV34. And then I'm going to go over that with my R81. And I also want to fill in this little ruffle down here. I'm going to add a second coat of my RV69. I'm just going to do a second coat of all of those because I'm not liking how that looks. So let's do R56. And then I'm going to do... RV34. That's looking better. And then R81. down here and we'll do her skirt. So we're going to do RV69 first. Let's do these little pleats right here first. And then I'm going to come along her finger or her hand. And here's a pleat. And then for her skirt down here, let's do right next to her arm. And I'm going to have to give this a second coat, too, I'm sure, so I'm not worried about putting too much on there. 
Next we'll put on our 56. RV 34. R81. And then I want to color in this ruffle. And then we're going to do our second coat. So we'll do RV69. R56. R V34. And then I'm going to use this to do the little dots on the ruffle. And then R81. Then we're going to go down here and do our boots. So let's start with RV69. R56. RV 34. RV 
R81. And then we'll do our second coat, so RV69. R56. RV34. And then our R81. Let's do the bottom of our shoes next. For that, we're going to use C5, 3, and 1. And we're not going to do anything too fancy. Let's start with C5. And I'm just going to brush up from the bottom of her foot. And then I'm going to add C3. And then we'll go over both of those are C1. For the flowers, we're going to use R89, 37, 27, and 08. Let's start with R89. I'm going to go right next to the inside of my petals. And we're going to do the same for this one. And then over here, let's do, let's make a little bit down here on our petal. Then I'm going to add R37. R27. And then R08.
let's give her something to stand on. So we're going to use W2 and 0. So we're going to start with W2. And let's go, I want to go up a little bit past her boot. And then we're going to go underneath. And then W0. And then I like to go back with a second coat of my W2. So I don't like how her eyes stamp there, so I'm going to add a little bit of my 100 to her eyes. And then I'm going to add some Spica Clear Glitter Pin to her hair. And let's start over here with these little swirls. I think I'll put some on my leaves. A little bit of sparkles there. And then I'm going to take my Sharpie white paint pen. I'm going to shake it up first. And then I like to take it and try it on a piece of scratch paper first to make sure it's not making a big blob. So kind of use a little bit of it up. Make sure I don't make a big blob on her face. And then we're going to add a little bit to these flowers over here where I colored in the dots. And then there's some dots out here on the outground, outside that I'm going to add this to. And then I'm going to give her a couple on her cheek and her eye. There is our beautiful Tilda with Fantasy Flowers all colored up. Didn't she turn out fabulous? If you would like to see me put the card together, I will put a link to that at the top of the screen so you can go over and watch me put it all together for your card kit. Um, don't forget, I will list all the supplies down in the description box. I really appreciate you shopping with me. If you'd like to see more pictures, head over to the store blog, and there's a link down in the description box to the store blog. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my video. I would love that. You can also just leave me a comment saying hi. That would be fabulous. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring today and are having a fabulous day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!